Long ago, the galaxy was ruled by the Iridians, the most powerful and technologically advanced alien race. They disappeared centuries ago, but left behind some technological debris that became the foundation of human advancement. However, their greatest secret was hidden in a vault on the planet Pandora. The peace was quickly replaced by corporations, criminals, and treasure seekers who began to fight each other to reach the vault first, but no one found it. Eventually, a prophecy announced that the daughter of Iridia would open the vault and bring peace to the planet. In the space prison, prisoner Tiny Tina hears an explosion before before the alarm goes off. Screams are heard outside his cell and suddenly a guard opens the door, but he takes off his helmet and reveals himself to be ex-soldier Roland. He was sent by Tina's father, Atlas, to save her, so they leave the cell at the same time the guards arrive. Roland engages in a fierce battle with the guards, shooting them with his gun or even shoving them when he can. Tina tries to run away alone, but Roland grabs her ankle, causing her to fall. After Roland slams the guard's head into the wall, he continues to drag Tina away, ignoring her by telling her that she wants to go back to her cell. Suddenly, a glass cell shatters and Krieg jumps down to push them down. Krieg is a psychopath, a type of robber driven insane by his obsession with the safe. He uses his immense strength to start beating up the arriving guards when Commander Knox of the Crimson Spear Army arrives. She aims her gun at him, but Krieg pushes her away by throwing a guard at her. Krieg then picks up Tina and reveals that they are friends. Roland says goodbye to his former commander and agrees to work with Krieg to escape. Months later, on the planet Promethea, bounty hunter Lilith has captured her latest victim and heads to a bar for a drink. Suddenly, she is surrounded by a group of thugs who do not leave even when she hits one. The men draw their guns as they explain that a rich boss sent them to hire him, so Lilith shoots most of them and knocks out the speaker. Everyone runs away in panic while a man in the back claps. It is Atlas, the rich boss who hired the thugs. Lilith shoots him too, but it is a random body using a holographic mask over Atlas' face. The last thug puts on the mask and Atlas asks Lilith to go to Pandora to find her daughter Tina. At first, Lilith refuses, but changes her mind when he offers her a huge sum of money. Atlas destroys his bounty so she can start working for him immediately and gives her a beacon to activate when she finds Tina. Lilith soon arrives at Pandora and is immediately forced to shoot a monster in the area. She hates the planet, knowing how bad it can get since she grew up there and her mother died under its dangers. Lands Tina on a shuttle that is sabotaged by vault hunters and Lilith fears she may not survive the crash, but the local children tell her where they last saw Tina. As Lilith searches the area, she constantly encounters psychopaths who try to attack her, but she simply shoots them down. Later, Lilith takes a bus and the driver doesn't believe her when she says she isn't a vault hunter, so he drops her off in a deserted area. Lilith searches the area while someone watches her from a distance. She finds a wanted poster for Roland, but sees no sign of Tina. At night, she sets up camp and hears noises so she shoots the presence in the dark. It turns out to be a robot named Claptrap, which Lilith finds very annoying. She continues to shoot at him until Claptrap reveals that he has the ability to track people. Lilith gives him a picture of Tina, and he quickly finds her, although it takes him 132 days to reach her. The next morning, Lilith notices that the Crimson Lance, Atlas's private army, are also on the planet. They seem to be negotiating with a psychopath who kidnaps children in cages. After Lance leaves, Lilith opens the cage and kills the psycho from a distance. The kids run away and Lilith steals the car, locking Claptrap in the cage. Thanks to the journey, Lilith moves faster and arrives at a junkyard. She opens a storage box and finds a children's room with tons of stuffed animals. Tina sneaks out and says that Roland abandoned her a few days ago, so Lilith tells her that she will take her home. While trying to activate the beacon, she accidentally drops it and bends down to pick it up, but she discovers tons of explosives under her bed. Tina asks her to give her a rabbit, but when Lilith grabs it, the toy explodes. Lilith jumps out of the container just in time and sees Tina on top of some trucks. The girl starts dropping explosive stuffed animals, so Lilith has to run and hide under her truck. The beacon is damaged in the process, so Lilith gives it to Claptrap to repair. Lilith then points a gun at Tina, prompting her to call Krieg. He gets out of an old truck and chases after Lilith, who fires at him but is unsuccessful. She dodges his attacks as they run around, but they end up fighting hand to hand. Lilith runs onto a train platform only for Krieg to chase her and dodge at the last second, sending her flying. When Lilith recovers, she finds Tina pointing a huge gun at her. Lilith tries to explain that she was sent by Tina's father, but Tina now insists that she has no father. They are interrupted by Knox, who appears on a flying motorcycle with his entire army following her. Tina throws a rabbit at Knox, who throws it away before flying away. The explosion destabilizes the truck pile so Lilith and Tina jump onto another truck pile but slide to the ground. Lilith pushes Tina away before they are crushed by debris and Knox tries to catch them, however she is forced to fly away when Roland arrives on a 
truck and nearly crashes into his hover car. Tina lies. He was only gone for 10 minutes to get the truck. Krieg, Tina, and Lilith jump into the truck and Roland drives off while Claptrap follows them. Lance's son follows, so Krieg puts Claptrap in and Roland speeds up to. As the lances open fire, Roland hands the wheel to Lilith and uses the truck's weapons to return fire, shooting down a series of cars and motorcycles. Lilith then hands the wheel to Claptrap and rushes out to join the fire. Claptrap crashes the truck into a bridge pillar, causing it to fall, but the enemy still passes through. Unfortunately, the lances catch up to them and a missile hits the truck, forcing Lilith and Roland to go back in. The vehicles surround the truck from all sides, however Roland pushes one to start it, causing a series of cars to crash into each other. Then, he passes through a barrier that leads them to Pisswash Gully, filled with smoke and monster urine. The lances do not follow them there and instead they are attacked by a giant monster. Roland drives as fast as he can to avoid the monster's limbs, but the truck ends up stuck on the edge of a cliff. The monster appears in front of them and attacks again. Luckily Roland is able to back the truck up. Soon after, the lances appear and surround them again while Knox calls for Tina. With a plan in mind, Roland speeds up and opens fire on the monster, blowing a hole in its head allowing them to jump through to escape. After a while, they have to stop the truck to change a flat tire. During this time, Tina explains to Lilith that Roland didn't kidnap her, but actually saved her. Atlas thinks Tina is Iridia's daughter and wants to use the contents of the vault for nothing, so the trio doesn't want to open it for him. Roland points a gun at Lilith because she works for Atlas, but Lilith points out that Lance wants her too, so they're on the same side. They let him stay and reveal that they also have one of the keys to the vault, so now they just need to find a scientist who will get them the other one. The group heads to a town and dons masks to avoid being noticed because of the wanted posters everywhere. They enter a bar owned by Mad Moxie, who knows Lilith's mother. Roland is recognized by Private Larry and distracts him while Lilith gets Moxie's location and password to the scientist's location. At first, Larry is friendly, but soon reveals that he wants Roland's bounty as well. Before he can attack, Moxie beats him until he is unconscious. Just then, Lance's arrive so Moxie leads the group out the back door. When they reach the elevator, Lilith says the password but it doesn't work, instead it activates with Tina's voice. They go to a large lab and find Dr. Patricia, who immediately recognizes Lilith. It's obvious that Lilith doesn't like him and she runs to another room to avoid embarrassment. Patricia follows her and tries to make contact, but Lilith reminds her that Patricia abandoned her when she was a child to go find the safe. It turns out that Patricia adopted Lilith after her mother died and was supposed to take care of her. Patricia tries to explain that she has to finish Lilith's mother's work, but Lilith becomes even more upset and runs to the roof. Soon, Tina joins her and explains that she grew up in a lab. Atlas cloned her using some Iridian blood he found inside the key hoping that Tina could open the safe and plans to build a superweapon using alien technology. Tina cries as she points out that after opening the safe, she will be taken to the lab again. On the streets of town, Claptrap wanders. Larry sees this and tells Knox, who tries to chase after him, but Claptrap is gone. Back in the lab, Patricia tells the others that the other key is in a mine inside the dangerous caustic caverns. Just then, Claptrap arrives and tells them that he has been seen. Knox puts the town under lockdown, so the group escapes by hiding inside a trash can that is quickly removed. In the morning, they reach the mine and find a trapdoor on the ground. After pushing Claptrap inside to make sure he is safe, they go down as well. There is a stream of chemical waste from the mining equipment that destroys everything except the natural crystals in the cave. They get claptrap through a very small tunnel to open the door in front of them. Then they try to cross a very thin platform that almost causes Tina to fall. Luckily, they make it to the other side and Tina is surprised to find a flower, but unfortunately it is trampled by claptrap. The group goes through the door and enters a tunnel where they find the symbol of the bloodshots, a gang of psychopaths that even other psychopaths fear. They find the group in another room and conclude that there are too many of them to take them down. Claptrap is sent in as a distraction and the bloodshots open fire on him, allowing the group to pass through the room unnoticed. They go upstairs, and when the bloodshots stop shooting to celebrate their violence, Claptrap escapes. After going down another hallway, the group found a cave with hundreds of barrels. They thought that finding the key would take too long, but Lilith followed her instincts and went straight to a particular box, immediately finding the second key inside. As they were about to leave, Claptrap started spitting out all the bullets he had been hit with and the noise revealed their location. A bloodshot burst in and the group fought him together to take him down, but soon all the other psychos arrived. Roland and Lilith opened fire while Krieg fought them hand to hand. Tina was almost captured, but Krieg quickly saved her and she was able to stab the enemy as well. Well, through teamwork, they take out tons of psychopaths, but they keep coming and there are too many of them. Lilith drops a bunch of boxes to block their way and the group heads up the stairs while the other psychopaths try to follow them. Roland stands on the stairs as he continues to shoot and Lilith finds a flamethrower which she uses to burn a group of enemies. Tina throws an explosive down the stairs, destroying the steps making it impossible to track them as they escape. The group enters a dark tunnel and is ambushed by psychopaths wearing glowing masks. They almost catch Tina and Lilith, but a few quick shots kill them all. 
The tunnel takes them to another room with even more psychos, so another fight ensues. They quickly take out a group of enemies, and this time Tina gets to see more action. Soon after, Patricia finally finds the hallway leading to the elevator, so the group flees after blocking the path behind them. Unfortunately, the elevator is broken, so Patricia has to team up with Claptrap to fix it. Psychos are now in the hallway as well and Roland and Krieg step out to fight them once more. There are 4,444 more coming from another hallway so Lilith quickly closes the door and takes out a few, disarming herself in the process. The psychos grab her and attempt to stab her, but luckily Tina arrives and retrieves the gun to free Lilith. As the psychos continue to hammer, the door won't last long. In the hallway, Roland moves Krieg back to shoot at the pipes so the chemical waste can flood their enemies. The group rushes to the elevator, but discovers that there is another wiring problem that Patricia didn't see. Roland goes out to fix it and makes them leave without him. Tina drops a rabbit on him as the elevator goes up, and Roland throws it at the psychopaths as they jump on him. The elevator plummets to the ground and the group thinks they are about to crash, but they are all suddenly teleported to the ground. Lilith vomits while Tina thinks it is a power she does not know about. That night, the group sets up camp and Patricia combines the key, revealing a map with the location of the safe. It also bears the symbol of Firehawk, the Iridian goddess and protector of the planet. Patricia explains to Lilith that opening the safe risks killing Tina. Down in the mine, all the psychos die from rabbit bombs and Roland escapes by hiding under it. Moments later, Claptrap returns the stationary beacon to Lilith. Lilith immediately destroys it, but this only causes a drone with a hologram of Atlas to appear. He explains that the lances are on their way, and if Lilith does not hand over Tina to them, Atlas will kill the entire team. He promises to pay her back as promised, and that last part is overheard by Tina. Thinking that Lilith will betray her, Tina throws a bomb at her, knocking her unconscious. Later, when Lilith wakes up, everyone is gone except for Claptrap, who explains that the group went to a nearby abandoned village. Lilith also goes there and realizes that this is the place she grew up in, remembering the day it was attacked by psychopaths. Her mother puts Lilith on an evacuation ship and leaves her with Patricia, but she stays behind. Eventually, Lilith finds her old home and even a childhood photo of her, including an old drawing of her as a winged woman. When Claptrap scans him, he is forced to play a message from Lilith's mother. The woman apologizes for sending Lilith away, explaining that she had no choice because she would never be safe on Pandora. She asks Claptrap to help her understand her fate and tells Lilith that she loves her before the video ends. Realizing her fate, Lilith rushes off to find Tina. Meanwhile, Tina, Krieg, and Patricia go to another mine and search for the safe. Krieg notices a bright light on the ground and destroys some debris to finally reveal the entrance. Patricia warns Tina that she might die, but Tina doesn't believe him and inserts the key before standing in the right place. After a long wait, nothing really happens. Soon, the hologram covering the area disappears and Atlas appears with the Crimson Lances and all the psychos he hired. When he asks Knox to kill Tina to harvest her money for another clone, Roland intervenes and opens fire, but Atlas defends himself with a force shield. Atlas orders Knox to kill them all and finally sees his true face, so she tells his men to put down their weapons. She tries to tell Roland that he was right, but Atlas's drone immediately kills her with a laser beam. Suddenly, Lilith appears on top of the mine and teleports next to the team revealing that she is actually Iridia's daughter. That's why he always draws drawings of the Firehawk and finds the key in the box so easily. Atlas promises to let everyone go if Lilith opens the safe, so Lilith prepares while ignoring Patricia, who explains that she knows. Her mother gave Lilith to Patricia so that she would never have to open the safe. When Lilith takes the key, a blue light appears on her arm. She puts it down and positions herself, creating a blue light that causes the rocks to rise up to form a door. Lilith floats and the power of the portal surrounds her, burns her clothes to create wings making her become Firehawk. Using this new power, Lilith fires energy at Atlas and he almost falls into a pit but manages to stand in time. A large psycho throws Tina into another pit in retaliation so Lilith sucks the energy again, bringing Tina back to the surface. Tina throws some bombs and the enemy opens fire, however Lilith's power protects her. A new fight begins and Lilith also protects the others with her power. Claptrap also fights, throwing the two into the pit. Atlas activates his laser beam and shoots Lilith down, attacking her again every time she tries to recover. Lilith returns her power, but Atlas is protected by her force field. Finally, when Lilith manages to get her wings working again, she flies away and attempts to destroy the plane, only to find that it is also protected by a force field. The impact knocks her unconscious and she falls to the ground, causing her teammates' protective magic to disappear. As Krieg is overwhelmed by the massive psychopath, Patricia runs to Lilith and wakes her up. Atlas fires lasers at her again and Lilith attempts 
attempts to erect an energy shield to protect herself. Inspired by her, Roland fights the other soldiers, and Krieg finally defeats the massive psychopath. With great effort, Lilith reflects the beam off her shield and sends it back at the plane, causing it to explode and crash. Everyone runs away to avoid being crushed, but some enemies are still killed. Lilith emerges from the dust with glowing wings and discovers that Atlas has captured Tina. Without hesitation, Lilith opens the safe and enters with them. At first the vault is dark, but soon a blue light illuminates the place. As Atlas admires his incredible power, Lilith teleports behind him and steals his force field activator. Tina takes the opportunity to hit him before returning to Lilith, who says goodbye before disappearing with the girl. Atlas is left in the cellar, where a giant monster soon catches him in its tentacles and takes him into a tunnel. Sometime later, the group returns to town to join in the celebrations. There are fireworks in the sky and Tina convinces Lilith to have fun too. Lilith manifests her wings and flies away, forming a firehawk in the sky. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, leave a comment about your favorite movie, and we will make it next. Thanks for watching.